I hate it. Hey, make sure you make sure you tell me when I'm live, bro. We lo- G'day, guys. Welcome to the PDG International. I am PDG, Peter, PDG Subos. Thank you so much for tuning in uh, to what was a fantastic morning of CS Sniper. Yep. Yep. Uh, and joining me is Ian Sniper Turner from Team Immunity, uh, probably captain and caller yep. for the team. Yes, I am the caller. Well, because there's so belief. much conjecture if Yaman is actually the caller. It's, mm. like, it's like a myth that's floating around the community that Yaman's a strat yes, for you guys. So Yam Unity. Yam, <laughs> Yam Unity. That was the face it, guys. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah. they tagged the Yam Unity, so that was funny. Yeah. But uh, look, thank you so much for all the support, guys, those who are watching. Shout-outs to Steel Series and MSI Performance Gaming, uh, Team Down TV for coming and putting this stream together, and also the Internet Cafe Guff. Uh, without the hard work for a, of a lot of people, uh, this wouldn't be possible. So thank you so much for for all everyone's hard work and sponsorship. But uh, we'll turn to Counter-Strike for just a moment, Sniper, because that's what we're all here for. Yep. Mate, how did you guys feel working through the group stages on uh, day one? Yeah, it was a bit of a tough start for us. Uh, we had solid opposition. Uh, uh, a warm-up game, probably, you would say, at the start against yep. UI. And yep. everything went to plan. And the plan there was just to win both maps, uh, you know, not show any strats, just do yep. the normal stuff, or even stuff that we used to do, like none of the new stuff. Yep. And... Um, uh, then we came up against Murphy's team, Noxious, and they gave us a decent run for our money. Yeah. And uh, once they got their tails up, they were very hard to put away. And even on Inferno, I was like, can these guys just give up already? Yeah. And they um, they had a lot of fight, don't they? Yeah. So a lot of credit to them. They uh, they beat us on Dust 2, 16, 14. Yep. And we just had to make sure that we won the second map by more than 14 rounds to get through. And, uh, yeah, we did. So, I mean, Inferno has always been one of our stronger maps. A lot of teams usually veto it against us, so we don't really practice it anymore. Um, so that was nice to get to play our old map. Yep. I'll just drop down a yep. little bit because yeah, I, was way, I was way too I was looking down on you, and you're a foot taller than me in real life. So that's all right. And um, what are your thoughts on the BO2 format? Because, as I said, there's been a lot, a lot of people sort of saying, you know, BO2 this, BO2 that. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, it saved you today. It saved us today. Because you had the one map floor yep. where yep. that Dust 2 didn't go your way. Mm-hmm. And then uh, you're obviously able to come back yep. and make sure that didn't happen. Yep. Um, how do you think it went? What are your thoughts on it? So it kind of works both ways. So it saved us on that, on that particular match. But I feel like if that wasn't the circumstances, it wouldn't have got to that point. And, uh, I mean, it's great saying it now in hindsight, but that game really got away from us in the first half. Yep. Uh, but knowing that we had the Inferno game to come back, it, I think that's actually a really bad mentality that, you know, teams might slip into. Yep. Uh, you know when you have a BO3 and you win the first map, the second map, there's no pressure? Yeah. That's bad. Yeah. And that, that's yep. how we felt today because okay. it was a BO2. Yep. Uh, we nearly came back and won. I'm not saying we gave up. It, it was 14-14 um, at some point, and we thought we were, we were good. But once they got match point, it, that was it. You know, yeah. we actually no, it was match point early on, and we struggled to bring it back. And it was, uh, we got it to 14 rounds, 15 rounds. Yep, it worked in our favour against Avant, uh, who we just played. Then yep. it wasn't so fun. Uh, we won the first map convincingly, and the second map was a muck around after we had enough rounds. So yep. it may be something for consideration for the the next group. I don't know if you can change it now, but once the game's over, I feel like the game really should be over because, that, I mean, it's just humiliating for both teams. Yep. Uh, as you saw, we just Tech 9 rushing, like, yep. thanks to Volvo. Yeah, definitely. What I, do you think about it? Well, I mean, you guys put us to the sword in the first map on Dust yes. 2 and you you've thoroughly beat us there. Your CT side was impressive. Uh, great flashes, great teamwork. So we, we struggled to overcome that. And I guess the second map, uh, it is more of a, uh, a situation where the second map, I feel, is just extra value for money for the teams who aren't expected to play tomorrow. Yep. So and just purely giving them value for money, yes. paying for flights, you know, coming into state, mm-hmm. getting three games of Counter-Strike isn't yep. the most cost-effective way. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was basically just a way to get those teams extra games. Yeah, I don't disagree with that either. And also an insurance policy for you guys. Mm, yes. Because we used. Exactly, because <laughs> if, if I... Look, it's not to say that Noxus didn't deserve to go through, yep. but if you guys had flown all this way, put all this effort in, and then whiffed against Nox and not gone through, and had the opportunity to compete against Vox, mm. it would have left a very sour taste in your yeah. mouth over one map. So. I think in this second group where you've got Vox and Chiefs, it's going to be fantastic. I mean, the new guys on the block there have a chance to verse some decent teams, and yep. uh, two maps is good if they use the opportunity. The only problem is if they're not prepared and they don't get the maps they want, then it could be another blowout, and yep. that would be unfortunate because then we get to see Vox running around with uh, SMGs and whatnot, you know, yep. and no one wants to see that. I don't think anyone wanted to see that second game. Well, 
Oh, yeah, probably not. But at the end of the day, Vox may take it a little more seriously given their departure. Yep. Uh, oh. Imminent departure I for Katowice. Around. Yeah. Yeah. Um, look, uh, is there anything that... I mean, today, you've, you've played a lot of lands, you've played a lot of national events. Um, is there anything today that you think was good or bad or could be improved? Or I've played here before. This is probably the best experience we've had at this particular venue. Um, everything has gone very smoothly. We've got free drinks there. You know, it's it's. I mean, it's hot, but it's Brisbane, so we're used to that. It's disgusting. Uh, yep, it's quite filthy. Uh, we've got a bit of might and magic stuff happening, which is good to see. Um, not my cup of tea personally, but people out having fun, socialising. Yep. Um, then uh, yeah, I mean, look, no problems. Computers have been great. I mean, we're on AMDs, but you know, that's fine. Um, no, oh, a few crashes here and there, but my PC personally has worked a treat. Great. Retro felt a bit weird first couple of maps, but I don't know what happened in the, against you guys. The servers just, everything just went in our favour, I think. And yeah. uh, when that happens, it's you, hard to You stop. sort of make your own luck. Yes, w you make your own luck. When, when you're playing well, the servers always feel great. And when yes. you're playing average, oh, bro. The, the red Joe just goes... You should have seen just my first two maps. I'm <laughs> shooting people in the back and missing and 98 and 4s. And yeah. and just, that's when you're having a crap day. And I thought, yep. oh, we're screwed. And, uh, you know, we just turned it around. So it was really good. And it's, it's not like it was an individual effort by any, anyone. It was a full team effort by us. And that's, that's when we play our best. You know, when it's individuals, it's like, oh, they just have to go to the other side. We take nines and we're screwed. Great. Mm. And um, just before I, I let you go and enjoy the rest of your beer. Yep. Um, mate, uh, obviously Vox are, your, are the team that you always want to try and come in to beat. Yep. Uh, because you guys have a really long-standing rivalry now over a number of competitions. Sure, yep. Um, Obviously, you always fancy your chances, but how do you think you're shaping up for tomorrow? Look, Vox is more prepared than ever, I think, and they're informed because they've just came back from uh, Poland. So uh, it would be very interesting to, to get a match against them. Obviously, we have to go through whoever comes second in their group first. Yep. Um, and that will be a test in itself, so that will be excellent warm-up for us. I think we've had the wood on them on land before, and it just ma depends on who plays the best on the day. We're, we're prepared, but I just I do feel like they have an edge. But uh, anything can happen on the day, and we proved that once before. We're the only team who's ever beaten them on land, so I'll happily That's say that we can definitely do it again. Absolutely. Um, you've proven it. You can do it. And you've got the blueprint for victory. Yep. It's, uh, it's just how, how easy they make it for you or how easy you for make Because a lot of teams think the biggest enemy they're facing is themselves. Yep. A lot of the time with yep. Counter-Strike, because it's, it's headshots, it's execution-based stuff. Yes. And if those little things aren't going right, yep. it can be a long day at the office. But um, yep. look, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, best of luck tomorrow against Vox, and uh, obviously whoever you play, yes. you play first. Well, best of luck Chiefs. to yourselves well, as thank, well. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, may the best team win. Uh, I guess that's it. Hopefully uh, it's us, man. Hopefully it's you. Hopefully well, it's if Vox. you win, like this has happened before. <laughs> okay, got games nationals. Yep. Uh, you know, Vox Eminor lost to Drew with Climax, and they ended up versing Immunity, and the loser of that came forth, which yeah. was Vox Eminor. Yeah. And then it was a different lineup and a different game. Yeah. But Immunity ended up going in grand finals against XL5, team no one thought could do anything, and they ended up winning. Yep. So, it, look, it could happen tomorrow. Yep. And as I said repeatedly to, uh, to Sponge yesterday, I don't actually have to be better than you to beat you, Chad. Which is... Uh, individually. Individually. Like, right. I don't have to be better than you to beat you on one day of Counter-Strike. That's right. And... Look, I'm pretty sure they've thought sometimes when they've lost that they were better and they lost. Absolutely, you know? yeah. So, um, yeah, anything can happen. And you know what? Chiefs of uh, Chiefs Voxy are a boot camp team. Yep. Like they play each other more than anyone else in Australia. If anyone's got a chance to beat them, it's Chiefs at the moment. Great. Well, so it's um, going to be an exciting group B. Hopefully, we uh, we see some great we great oh. games and with Archaic in this group I'd as like well. To see it's going to be. Oh, Archaic are a great mix up. They're they're going to be a fun team to watch as well. Look, thank you so much for joining. Yep. No worries. Uh, we'll be back with a few more interviews in a second. Uh, thank you to all, again to all the sponsors and everyone for coming out and supporting. Any uh, shout out? You, you can shout out. May to I you please like. shout out? Please, please go ahead and shout out. I would love to shout out to our manager, uh, Tony from Team Immunity. I uh, thank you very much for getting us here to Brisbane in sh uh, such short notice. Um, I'd also like to shout out to our major sponsor, Intel, and our other sponsors, BenQ, Red Bull, and Antec, and Gile, and Gigabyte. So, I mean, I know that's a lot, but it's a big team effort back at Team Immunity. Yep. Um, they send a lot of teams overseas and everything, so hopefully we can be one of those teams, and thank you very much. Beautiful. Well, uh, we'll be back in just a moment with uh, another interview. I'm not sure who's up next, just because we're juggling a few people around the event, but stay tuned, and we'll be back in just a few minutes. Thank you very much.